Hello everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Redarculous.com. Two-fisted drinking. We've already covered what women focus on, and that is the creepy. Men focus on the crazy. But this uh, is so important, I'm applying this to everybody. If they get even one of these, it's a W-O-L, walk off the lot, because the consequences can be dire. Now I know you're all out there like, but Pop, the crazy slot C is so good. You're right, it is. Why, I have no idea. Maybe it's because nobody likes the church girls so much. Even church girls have their upside. They're already used to being on their knees. But in the sack, the crazy slot C rules. And we'll ignore panel one. And then we'll suffer panel two. Do not ignore the crazy. They apply to both males, females, XY cross wires. Crazy is crazy and it's not gender specific, believe me. <coughs> Number one, was committed. It doesn't matter if they voluntarily went in or if they came to get them a straight jacket. Right! If they went and stayed in a mental institution, crazy. If you go over there and their house is full of their childhood belongings. <coughs> oh. There are different seasons in everyone's life and when that season's done, you move on. You put your childhood stuff away and you move on. But if it's a chick and she has a room full of adult toys, game on. In my experience and observation, slot C have used this one more than uh, holders of the peg D and that would be the rapid mood swings that end in physical violence. You know what the mood swings are. You come home, they're happy, and then they're sad. And they're happy. And they're sad. And, and they're angry. And they're not and they forgive you, and then they hate you. And that takes place all of, uh, in about an hour. Women, they're more tend to uh, attack, bite and scratch. I'm just saying, if you really have to, you just take one of those happy pills and put some of that spray cheese on it. And they'll eat it every time because they can't help it. They're crazy. Number four, does not Acknowledge the obvious. Like you come home like, hey, um, did you know that both toilets are overflowing and there's six inches of water on the ground? Oh, you didn't notice that. Hmm. There's a reason why Mr. Obvious was promoted to Captain Obvious. Now they have a TV show about this. It's number five. It's called Hoarder, or how I refer to it as Labyrinth Liver. Their house is full of whatever it's crazy you have to walk through like little channels to get to anything I mean, come on they go down the street to use the bathroom because they can't because their own is so full of shit. no pun intended of course yeah speaks with god directly i have a close personal friend whose ex-wife to this day still thinks she speaks with god we will say her name for liability purposes but she's stone cold crazy I know God, we play racquetball you know, two times a week. It's all good. Now, number seven goes hand in hand with number six. They believe they're an agent of God. Mr. Anderson, God needs you to eat the flesh of zombie Jesus. Zombie Jesus! OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. This could be anything from, you know, have to turn the doorknob three times. Everything has a routine. Just imagine uh, dating Jack Nicholson in the movie, as good as it gets. Uh, Carol the waitress, Simon the fag. One of my friends, if you leave the uh, dishwasher jar one or two inches, he'll wake you up in the middle of the night and say, hey, why don't you shut the dishwasher? Number nine, continuously paranoid, even when not high. Okay, I myself, I'm not a partaker of the 420, but I have a lot of my friends that do it and they do get paranoid. I excuse that. But if you're paranoid, all the time. Get away from my eyes. Number 10, always sad. Yeah! They're a weeper, not a keeper. Let me put my care face on. I'm done now. This is, this is one of my favorite ones here, 11. Hears or see things that are not there. Do you see the angels at my bed? No, honey. Get over the doggy style. You don't have to look at <laughs> I love that, that's hilarious. They're like constantly on some type of mushroom thing, but it's like, they're crazy. I, I banged a couple of chicks that were 
kind of psychotic. I'll be like, you're crazy, you're psychotic. I think we talked about this in Creeper, but self-harm, it's not just this. It's like a lot of this and a lot of this. And it gets out of control. There. Look at David Carradine. He killed Bill, actually. You can be a real cunt. Oh, too soon? Excessive vomiting or non-eating. Now, I don't know about you, but maybe, maybe once a year I gotta puke. Okay, anything more than that? Excessive vomiter. Daddy issues. Crazy, don't need it. Gets insulted all the time about everyday things. Uh, I saw a black cat. What, are, what are you, you don't like blacks? Like, what? It's a cat. <laughs> I was going down the street and I, I almost ran over a black squirrel. What are you, some kind of racist? Why you gotta hit the black squirrel? What did he ever do to you? I don't have to tell you. He's a squigger. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. 15, irrelevant talk. They talk about things that absolutely have no bearing on the real world because they're living in a dream world. You know, irrelevant talk, like you're like, you wanna to go to Benihana for dinner? Satanism. This one, some women are gonna argue that shouldn't be there, but I think it, it is. That would be excessive neediness. Listen, I'm gonna be 45. I parked my white horse. I don't ride to the rescue anymore. I'm sorry, girls. If you're excessively needy, I'm gonna label you crazy and you're gone. I, I need to go to work. Cereal's in the cupboard. 17, and this is important now, pay attention. Pathological deception, always lying. Like I'm pregnant or I don't know where the money went. They know where the money went. It went on bras, shoes, and bullshit. I woke up and your car was smashed. I mean, oh, come on, come on. Pathological deception, screams of insanity. If you ignore panel one, sooner or later, you're gonna be on panel two. Number one, accused of rape, yes. Yes, you win the game show, you got the, the court hearings, the legal bills, the whole thing. Ladies, in all seriousness, when you accuse a dude of rape, you make it more difficult for the women that actually were. It's really not gender specific because it happens to pretty much anybody, but I'm just saying, number two, and this is pretty much for, this is gender specific for females or the holders of the slot C. False paternity test. If I was the father, it wouldn't already look like beef and cheddar and catcher's mint until I was done with you. That's as mean as shit, but I'll, I'll take it. Number three, destruction of your property. Yeah! Your house is set on fire. I believe there was something in the news a while ago about a uh, woman who burned up her husband's house and he was in the NFL. <laughs> Jail, yes, because guess what? If you're accused of rape, some craziness goes on, more often than not, you're gonna be in jail. And jail's real fun. Jail is only fun if you enjoy dropping the soap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say yeah to that, I can't. Number five, you could take a monumental ass kicking and everyone enjoys a good ass kicking. Yeah! You know, what could happen from an ass kicking is severe injury. You could get, I don't know, stabbed. Does the word Mrs. Bobbit mean anything to you? Uh, you could awaken to boiling oil being thrown on you. Yeah. Number seven, of course. Yeah. This is really bad here. And that's why I say if anybody pops up on panel one, immediately walk off the lot because seven is death. Lucky seven. Now, do I need to go into detail about death? Kicking your air addiction, getting evicted from the meat sack. I think we understand what that is. <laughs> Delusional pregnancy, five or six pregnancy tests later, they still insist that they are pregnant, even though you know they're not. Because they're crazy. Number nine, and this is always open for a lot of fun and games, which is hard drug exposure. Not you per se, but say you're watching the Super Bowl and next thing you know you have a SWAT team pounding down your front door. What the fuck are you doing? Last but not least is manipulation, or I call it puppetitis. 
yeah. And they use guilt and even flat out blackmail. It doesn't matter if she was getting 500 miles of peg D run through her six to eight inches at a time. It's your fault. Well, they do whatever to manipulate you because they're crazy. <coughs> Please take these lessons to heart because I'm only trying to help you out. Remember, hit the subscribe button because if you don't, I'm an agent of God and I just might kick your ass. <laughs> Edit that out. Yeah! What's the first thing you're gonna say? Pop, I should have listened to Slot A. <laughs> That's funny. I should have listened to Blowjob. <laughs> I've got a hump in my fucking back, man. Quasi motorway is. Number nine. Uh, yeah. That's funny. That one's gonna wind up in the outtakes, I know. I don't care if you use it, it's a squigger. <laughs> Squigger's gonna give me squigger aids. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. It's, it's a squigger. <laughs>